Hi everyone, very good morning. Today our topic is how to create SOAP API request in Postman tool. Okay, this is our main topic. And uh, the first one is how to create SOAP API request and run and validate. Okay, I will show you this one. And these are the steps, step by step. First step, step one is first of all find the sample api request okay i am using the visual file means wsdl country info wsdl only i am using there are so many soap requests available under the wsdl file okay after second one set the format of soap request in postman tool right you need to provide the what type of format example the content type text or xml this is the format i will provide it okay based on the request uh, supported format you will provide and third one whenever you need to take the soap request uh, the post method you need the soap file right the soap file uh, in wsdl it's not able to provide it directly that reason you need to take the visual file okay you need to add the visual in chrome extension example it's not available in your uh, chrome right just you can go to the chrome and chrome settings it's available there is a left side bottom it's available one icon extensions just click on the extension and you can go to the whistler the whistler file only uh, you need to just add the chrome extension and automatically you will be able to get it okay i will show you that one also and run and validate this soap request this is the fourth step and step 5 is add this test snippet just your response able to properly able to come to or not just you need to add the one snippet for verification purpose and you need to test it and finally you need to run the collections okay uh, collections also will run directly in web console okay i will show you this total six steps how you need to create the soap api request and run and validate okay okay now you need to go to the postman tool in 2023 this is the latest version of uh, postman tool okay example first you need to click on to the collections okay old versions it's a different format and different way you need to provide the collection options okay now uh, it's the latest version right you can left side only it's available all the what are the things you require you can take it okay first one is the collections just click on the collections there is a plus icon right create new collection just click on it and uh, you need to rename this one you can see the new collection also rename um, postman soap api request okay this is the postman save soap api request i will give the name okay now you need to add the under collection you need to add the one request okay just click on three dots icon and go to the add request okay click on that one. this is the request guys it's the majorly you can give the soap api request api soap api request okay yeah now this is the called soap api request now you need to find the um so file okay the so file name is country info which done right you can go to the chrome you can type the country info wsdl file okay you can see there is a first link right full country info data flex web services for country information just you can click on it okay full country information right this is also so file guides okay this is also so file only this is the post method and urls host content type content length and this is the you need to take this envelope to envelope also you need to take and you need to test this is the request this is the outcome of the response And 1.2 also this is the request and response and say json file <coughs> the json file also request and response okay 
now you need so many so files you required right and you can just you can click on the click here you can see how many so files available everything it says so file only okay based on what type of format you require you need to select it okay just to click on service description this is the visitor okay just you can copy this one and go to the postman and you can give them this is so file right that reason the method is post method okay after you can see there is the content type text or xml right you can go to the postman you can go to the header section just you need to add one more uh, row content type okay content type text or xml now that one also i will add it right the format is completed now go to the body i need to draw most of the time text or xml only right the body format also uh, headers also text or xml only that is a body also you need to select text or xml by default automatically will come xml right yeah you can leave it now we need the code okay how you need to get it right you can see there is one point called Wedzler. You need to add the Chrome extension. Okay. In my uh, web store, it's already available. You can see this is the Wedzler Browse WSDL. Example, it's not available uh, in your Chrome, right? You can go to the new Chrome. Click on to the three icons. Go to the settings. Okay. Uh, there is the one icon right left side you can see extensions click on that one w i z d l e r okay Wizzler. you can see this is the Wizzler file uh, Wizzler, um chrome extension okay i am already added right that reason it's showing in your system also in your chrome also you need to check this way anything it's already available it's okay it's not available right that time you can go to the chrome virtual chrome extension okay virtual chrome extension you can see which the chrome web store which is a chrome web store right just to click on it Okay, guys. Actually, the problem is, it's a Google Google only issue. Actually, it's showing Spanish language, but I will tell you what is this one. This is the Wizzler Chrome extension. This one is showing something, right? This is Spanish language. Okay, don't consider this one. It's showing add to Chrome extension. Okay, just whenever you need to come, right? Just click on to the add to the Chrome extension okay that's all whenever you need to add the chrome extension uh, you need to refresh the chrome right automatically you able to see right the virtual file will be added in your chrome browser okay this is the way you need to add the virtual file first okay after once you're adding everything is done how you need to take this so file right just you can refresh this file now it's active right just click on which you can see there are so many 
country info services in soap files right this is all soap files only soap file means it's a soap services will provided example i will select the capital city right i will select the capital city you can see this is the soap request post method this is the url you need to take directly this url also it's not a problem but in general i am already taken right that reason i will copy the file okay the body of data i will copy it. You can go to the postman in body and the body i will give it okay you can see country iso code right india iso code is in standard one this one in okay in means it's india okay now you need to save this one and you need to run you able to see it's able to work or not yes you can see that the status code is status code 200 okay and uh, output you can see capital city of india in new delhi okay this is the central right new delhi okay this request currently it's working no issue now you need to add some snippet also and you need to able to see how you need to work for just verification purpose yeah you can see the status code 200 right just you can select it the code what will be written right you can see pm means postman dot test you need to test and means it's a verify status code is 200 function and pm dot response to have dot status 200 whenever you receive to the 200 um, status code it's success except 200 you will receive any other automatically showing fail okay that is the main intention and now we need to save this one also and run one more time yeah you can see now still also it's success right 200 okay it's successful no issue and how you need to whenever you need to add the any snippets right how we need to able to see you can go to there is a test results okay you can see pass status code is 200 pass status code is 200 it's success okay this is the way you need to see uh, the results now everything is success right now finally you need to run to the in collections everything before running collections you need to save everything otherwise uh, uh, means your changes is not taken to the collection okay means you don't write that one postman say pay so pay pay request just click on and uh, yeah just you can click on run collection this is very small right very very small file okay so pay pay request right run postman so pay so pay pay request iterations just have been given two times and it takes good maybe anything will fail you need to read them one more time delay it's not required data you need to provide any test data right that time only you need to provide this one otherwise not required yeah save response or run collection without using store cookies okay save cookies after collection okay now we need to run <coughs> yeah you can see now um the iteration one it's showing it two times means one time it's i'm already run that one that reason is showing okay now first one it's pass pass status code is 200 pass status code 200 okay view summary also it's same only three request it's showing but mainly our request is only two okay two two times two iterations it successfully work okay okay that's all guys this video maybe now you understand right how you need to validate it to the soap request in postman tool okay mainly it's a api tools right and you have a separate jobs also in api testing api testing and api automation and api performance testing also okay so many times i'm also executed the difference is whenever you need to take to the in company uh, means your project application so files also the little bit bigger than that sun okay and you know what is the process how you need to do that one you automatically you also easily need to do do the validation and one more thing 
uh, please do not depend on to the keep on development team okay you need to get a knowledge how the people will build to the so files rest files json files everything you know that one whenever you will face any issues and online also there are so many code compiler tools example so file it's a format properly is available or not and any syntactical errors okay that time you need to check very easily that reason you will get a knowledge without any development team any issues also you yourself only need to solve and you need to proceed otherwise keep on uh, depend on to the development team and keep on requesting any small issue also and that is the big problem okay you need to get a knowledge and you need to work independently okay yeah that's all guys this video maybe now you able to understand right how we need to create and run to the soap request just for example purpose only i will create this video yeah that's all guys i will connect to the my next video thanks everyone bye